well he does there. <laughs> Get him to Mexico? We gotta put him to Japan. Japan? By himself? No help. He can figure it out. I don't know. We already saw what happened to Mew Day. That'd be a pretty I'm, good prank. I think Mexico's a good start. Step in stone. Step in stone. He's gonna lose to that piranha plant. Hmm? <laughs> that, that piranha plant, that beat. What's his face? Bro, plant OP. Yeah, we're gonna see the Roy here too. Oh. Much better than the, the Wario match I was talking about earlier. Just so gets literally invalidated by Steve as Wario. Roy, Roy, I think Roy definitely still leads us to Steve, but I mean, he's he's shown like how good he is at this character in the previous sets that we've seen on stream. So I'm looking forward to see how well he gets anti-eared by Steve. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Ma matching it up. Hey, they both they both did their little cutscenes and they're at about the same percentage. Yeah. It's a little better than what we'd see from from Wario. He just gets stuffed out so well by the disjoints. Good side to catch him to roll from the ledge here. And Roy's all about like in his game plan in oh. this matchup, he just wants to prevent C from mining ever. Because he has trouble breaking through blocks sometimes. He doesn't have the greatest air grip, so he's gonna come into a grip when he does. That was a great set. Yeah, Roy's definitely the character who's like he's just like a fly, he's wow. constantly in your face. You have to you have to like acknowledge him. You know, he's like a child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, have to, you have to pretend you like him. Oh! oh I'm scared. TNT is so scary, bro. Now yeah. he gains a ball. Iron. Nobody knows the timing of it. Not even the Steve player. That side beat, too, is so laggy and he's to punish David. Get able to get some percentage there. No, no foot still out of shield with the, with the anvil. Unfortunately, not going to get that, but the bear is only going to connect. Not going to take the stock just yet. If it was Diamond, it would a different story. Good job jumping to ledge. Kind of but grabbing a whole lot of nothing, they're going to steal that first stock up for him. going to be a big combo. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, and had no mats, couldn't continue it. That would have easily been 70% had he had any materials. And Jordan taking full advantage of it. 100%. And here with the jab, too. That's attributed to him just smothering him. He's not letting him mine, so he can't get materials. And that matters. Like we saw, he dropped combos because he didn't have the materials. He's not going to be able to get access to his anvil, his mine part. I mean, it's a very important part of the matchup. And the blocks, too. I mean, he couldn't he couldn't follow up his combos. Right. Because he just he didn't have any platforms he could build. Woohoo. Even percent. Wow, good recovery there from Jordan. Coming back. Down smash tech chase once again. We saw that last uh, last set he played with Boogie. That's <laughs> I, I really don't you don't really don't see a whole lot of down smash coming from more than Alright. It is so many like he has already better strong buttons like F smash, F tilt even. Yeah. Jumping into the blocks to break it, that was really smart. But gonna be even stocks here, Dave versus Jordan. A very hot set game one. Yeah, Dave is like as as much as Steve can camp, he's got that the really good uh, yeah. capability to play fast paced too. He definitely does. He's, he has a capability to blow you up. Holy. Good DI That's there from so Jordan. Hard. Good DI there from Jordan, only taking 90%. Right? Like, at worst, it could have been dead. It would have been dead, absolutely. Oh, yeah. DI down, uh, the SMS would have comboed. Or uh, into a fair spike. I'm surprised they didn't go for that either. Good air. He had the space support too. Oh, gonna get no. What? That kill screen across at 120, bro, after the hit. I'm surprised it didn't kill. He That's going to be it. Can't make it back from there. Oh, but Dave not following it up. That's bad. You got to make the most of it. I'm surprised he, he could That was a free oh, forward air. No blocks to place down. Going to get caught with a back air. Can't stall the recovery either. Has to go straight to ledge. Oh. But trying to get the reversal once again. Using that side V1. Super punchable if you don't connect with it. Gonna, losing, gonna be losing game one. Dave goes up in the yeah. set. Yeah, at that point, you just might as well throw out a jab. It's less laggy. It'll do the same thing as I do. Yeah. Connect a jab into up air fair, whatever the percent is, right? But it still kills anyway. Stop. Yeah, you shielded a whole lot early. But very close game one, hot set. Dave's I'm, taking it. I'm honestly surprised we're not seeing just like a game two switch to see if anything works out. But that game was so close that I could see why he wouldn't stick it out with Roy. Yeah, right. And he's been playing so well with Roy already, even in, in his other sets. And he wasn't getting hit by a lot of like the Steve annoying things, except that he, he died. Oh, oh the Phantom oh, cool. Footstool! That, that, that's, the giver, that's the giver tech right there. You smash the A button or the whatever your jump is until you get it. But he died. I could not see the camera. <laughs> he was dead. He was dead. But Dave went on for uh, an extra hit after he got it. And Jordan took full advantage of him staying down there. 
That's going to be it, though. Dave, no. Following it up, but not able to get that hit this time. Like, like semi-learning his lesson with, with, the, with the last game. Something that's been really impressive about uh, Jordan's boy is that he just does not get edge guarded. Even in the set against Kuki, who we thought initially was going to be able to get the best of him with, like, the cable and there. Wow. He's just been not able, been able to get edge guarded, even against Steve, which yeah. is crazy. I mean, K rule too. It's like it's nair or counter, you die. But right. he's just and been adjusting it so well. Hit. He's been either fading back, or he's been keeping it horizontal, or, or, or the vertical. It's got two different modes to it. Good it is ball. absolutely insane. Oh, no. Or you'll do the high recovery. But yeah, catch, finding yourself in that up smash, it's just like it's so easy to get hit by it. Yeah, it's so active. It's so big. Ooh. Nice he reaction there. percent lead, Jordan. On the ledge. What? <laughs> I'll go for the two frame there. Looking for the punish after. Good up B. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised you, it wasn't two frame. Either. The Shout back out. air catching him, lacking without any materials. Now Dave's sitting up in his chair a little bit. Finding it's a little bit harder. And Dave normally the uh, type of person that likes to mess around with people. Oh my god, he started trying to be like that. Dave normally yeah, likes to mess around, but this is the first time I've seen Dave play seriously in like four months. <laughs> Normally he looks like he's having fun. He's not having fun anymore. He wants money. Dude, that's it. Oh, that killed straight up? Wow. Okay. He definitely was STIing down or something. There's no way, dude. He so should have lived that. With spikes in this game, the bottom blast zone actually raises on all of the... Dude. Dave goes up 2-0. He... <laughs> so that's why, like, when Diddy Kong do, like, a banana dare, it kills, like, a zero because of that mechanic, which I think is stupid. But Steve, Davon, making the most of it. it. It looked really good game one, back and forth, man. But Davon, the set count don't lie. Ball don't lie. Dude, you can see, like, set. he got pissed off. He shook his head, and he was like, all right, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's the last stock you stopped. I mean, two stocks ending like that. It's, I so, wish, it's so annoying. I wish we had the player cam, bro. You can, you can see the exact moment his heart split in two. Right. Like right now, I'd be sweating bullets. He just wants to play silly Steve. I, no Jordan needs to learn that SDI, brother. There's no way that shit true. It is. It's really hard. I mean, I don't know. I'm a Steve player, right? But it's really hard for Roy and all other fastballers to get out of combo like that. Up to now. Oh. He did that. <laughs> oh, Custy right there. Out of the Ooh. Right there, catching the block placement. Yeah. Big lead. Not That's a, a big lead, but like big stock. That's literally what the Roy players look for when they grab you. They, they want you to jump so they can hit you with the bear or the bear. Oh, sit, sit down, little boy. Dang, Jordan is amazing. Just catching, getting caught running full in. Got nice chip damage, though. 70%. Nothing to scoff at. Dave doesn't even have diamond yet. Yeah, so that's not, percent. Yeah, not a good trade for him either. There. Jab will do it right here. Going to be able to get that F tilt. Recognizing Dave does not want to get hit by that jab. Coming off aggressively. That could have been it. Nice up B with that armor. Would have been able to get him out of that situation regardless. That's what that tilt. Going to cover the ground there. Yeah, up B's like that are really good because, you know, Steve just want to mash on your shield with up tilts and jabs. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. And having the frame three option with armor as well. Really powerful thing that Roy has. That a lot of people I feel like don't utilize. I mean, that's the first time we saw it in the, in the, in the first set since Jordan was playing Roy. Oh, that could have been bad. He narrowly escaped. He's panicking right now. 75 is yeah. a Yeah. Oh, nice utilizing the block to aid in that recovery there. There's no mats. Something that Roy's definitely could use not the, the sour spot though, not gonna be able to finish off that stock. 170%. Gonna go for up throw here. And with DI like that, it's gonna be able to do it. Don't think it should have been able to if, if he recognized that it was gonna be a uh, up throw, not a forward throw. Percent racking up here. Not gonna get the sour dare that we've seen him land so many times against the other set against Poogie. But still maintaining the stock lead, that's at the end of the day, that's what matters. Pick your openings, make the most out of the safe hits. Yep, gonna get it. Footstool down air there that time. Even with the cross up on shield, it's not enough to get away from the range of that anvil. It just takes up so much space that once he gets that footstool, it's pretty much a lock that you're gonna get hit by that anvil. Yeah, if you're Roy, you wanna maintain center stage nice. as best as you can so you can avoid getting jab trained off stage. That's that's kind of that's a Dave. percent right here. If Dave knows the goal timing. I think it might have just slipped out. Is. There's definitely a way to do it with gold. Dave's got it now this time. Good SCI from Jordan. Going to go in that time so that he's not going to get uh, 
carted all the way off stage. What a grab. That was really risky. I, I saw a spot dodge that smash in the future. Yeah. No punish there either. The gold is so fast. Jordan's got to find a way to, to bring it back or else the entire set will be over. That And that's, that's it right game. there. Goes straight to the top. Dave securing it in a 3-0 fashion. Did not want to waste any time. He's going back to randoms. You took that boy away. <laughs> he took that boy away from his okay, real passion. Real. He's going right to that setup. We're going to get Houston winners finals, man.